to summarize from our last video, this is a line, it's plotted on some axes, and its equation in general is going to be y equals mx plus b. Let's remember that b is the intercept, the y-intercept right here. It has coordinate 0, b. And if we wanted to get the slope, we'd actually pick two points on the line. I'll call them uh, x1 and y1, and I'll call this x2 and y2. And the way we get the slope, of course, is by taking the rise over the run. The rise is y2 minus y1. And the run is x2 minus x1. And that's how we calculate useful quantities for this line in algebra. This is good for algebra, but of course we're in physics class. So what I want to do is take these equations and actually translate them to the velocity, to the position graph that we've actually been doing uh, with the buggy lab. So let's change these axis labels. This becomes x. Um, so we just get in there and change that. This is x. And this is time. And now what happens with these equations, all the stuff here is that it actually changes to reflect real physics. So the equation of this line is actually given by x equals v naught t plus x naught. And it seems that all we've done is we've renamed axes, and instead of calling this b, we now call it x naught. And of course, to get the slope, which we now call v naught, that's going to be, if we use the same labeling logic, this will be t1, x1, t2, x2, and we're getting v naught is x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. But what's actually happening now is that these are now real physical quantities. x naught actually corresponds to the initial position of the car. And that may not be zero on the ruler, because zero on the ruler is right here. And v naught, that's not just a slope. That's the actual velocity of the object. So we've taken a little bit of algebra. And by changing letters, we don't just change letters. We actually do some new physics that actually tells us how things change position when they're moving at constant velocity.